Here we go, guys. We're going to be playing some castle fight. Corrupted castle fight. Um, decided to play like a chill game as we're pretty much... Uh, I need to kind of have an upload for the upcoming Saturday. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I decided to upload one video every Wednesday and Saturday for now as I'm pretty much busy in real life. But hopefully, I'll be able to um, do more uploads in the future. But for now, that's pretty much what we're going to be settling for. So... Uh, as you know, we're going to be playing Castle Fight. Pretty fun game. It's like a uh, type of like chill map. A little bit like Survival Chaos where it's more AI based than actually, you know, human based. Where you're literally making um, less decisions. It's more about strategy and which kind of like building you're placing down. So in this case, we're kind of building units to counter whatever units they have on their side. So it's 2v2. Me and Baba Yaga. I don't know if you guys seen. Wait a second. This is a reference. Is this a- I'm pretty sure this is a reference to Will Ferrell's, like, uh, movie? I don't know if he knows it, but it's- it's a- it's a funny video. But, but you got- I don't know if it means anything, so let me know down in the comments. I feel like some of you guys will know what- what I'm talking about. I hope someone does, because I'd be pretty depressed if no one knows. Um, but yeah. So... We have anti-air, which is good. Okay, so this guy went for the assassin avatar of vengeance. Does have critical strike. But uh, I will be countering that with uh, a heavy gunner. Heavy gunner does have pierce damage. So you want to pay attention to pretty much what they have, um, you know, in their uh, kind of like formation or what type of units. In this case, we know that they have um, heavy magic damage and light armor. Um, so that's why you see me going for Pierce, which they will be taking 75% more damage, which is huge. Literally almost double. They're heavily focused on archers. I'm not too sure why exactly, but maybe it works out for them. Maybe it doesn't. We'll see. So this guy did what, go for Blast Staff. That's usually a problem. Reason being is because, I mean, it's good to thin out the waves because as you see, it, it is doing passively a little bit of damage to um, incoming units. So it's like spell damage isn't so bad. But um, it is 150 gold, so that's another like expense, right? And also cost uh, lumber, which you could be using for something else in the future. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, it could be a good investment because you're, you know, thinning out the wave and hopefully it works out for you. So we do have this increased. So the sniper goes to heavy gunner. So this guy uh, levels up into this guy. So quite a bit more damage, which is super good. I mean, we're, we have an absurd amount of like splash damage, which is very nice. I'm going to keep going with these, honestly. I feel like snipers are just overall so good. This guy's massing swamp wells. Very interesting strategy, to say the least. I mean, the thing is, I'm taking significant less amount of damage from um, Pierce, which this guy's massing. So that's why Blade Master is really good. But the thing is, as you see, that avatar got completely shrecked by my heavy gunner. Uh, I'm going to be spending my gold, so let's just spend the gold, and then we'll see. We'll talk later, right? Uh, we do have an extra footman and an extra sniper, which should be hopefully killing or winning us the round. We already are pretty much taking down their building, their main, <laughs> main structure, and uh, they're going to be forced to rescue strike, I would assume. So we both have to to rescue strikes, which is like a big ability to kill everything in a specific area. Allows us to pretty much like, you know, have a second chance, essentially have a second chance. So he went for a Ballista, which I don't understand that train of thought. Blade Master is good because Blade Master will obviously do a lot more damage to the um, Sumbulks. Make Warlock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me level this up first. Uh, Warlock is good, but Warlock is better with an AoE, right? So I don't think it's worth it at this point. At least in my opinion. I'm just like getting more frontline. Here we go. That that you saw, that was the rescue strike. But using it pretty early is is bad because you kind of want to make sure that you're, you know, <laughs> using it in a good moment. You know what I mean? That moment could be, um, you know. Uh, whenever there's a lot of freaking units. You'll see as the game progresses, there's going to be a lot more freaking units. Artillery. Ooh. Gallahorn is actually pretty strong. I might consider going for this. Yeah. Horn might be better since we uh pressuring. Yeah, the thing is, like, he wants me to go for Warlock, which I see it being decent, but I feel like it kind of depends on the situation. 
Uh, 66% extra attack speed. That's really freaking good. So this is the corrupted version. So I'm not too sure what these statues really uh, do. Sacrifice. Interesting. I'll let you guys pause the video and kind of check. I don't think this is... It only will work... At 50 minutes, I would assume. Okay, so Bloodthirster. Ooh, that's not so good for me. Clifford has quite a bit of damage in the back. For luck, we'll get sniped, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we need some magic damage, don't we? Just kill this freaking Elden Blade Master. It's so freaking good. I might consider going for Chapel, man. Heavy armor, but it is hero damage. And plus gives us quite a bit of auras, which I kind of want to go for. Heroic Shrine, Tower. I mean, Griffin might be good. When you think about it, right? But Griffin will get sniped, I'm pretty sure. Oh, armor is medium. Wait, do I want to go for a Griffin? I kind of want to go for a Griffin. Griffin is fine. Has a chance to bash, do a little bit more damage and chain and lightning. I kind of like that, honestly. It's going to be very good for their front line, which we need to fin out. 10 armor. This does, does so much freaking damage. What the hell? Oh, we have, we're getting control of random units? That's insane. That's really good for us. And I think we go for Gallahorn here. There we go. Build it right here. That was a bad placement. That's fine. So Gallahorn, how it works is it enhances or uh, the attack speed of nearby units while it's active. So in this case, you see it pretty much cast to it. As you see, it got the buff. So this unit will attack 66% faster, which is huge. Um, and you kind of want to use the, the lumber. So you get lumber by just um, placing down a little bit of extra structures. And it's pretty good. So you could manually cast it. So I could have casted it right here, for example. Would have been... Okay, now, see, it hit most of the units. I don't know. I kind of want to just make sure that I'm casting it off cooldown. But I don't know. There's probably a better way to do it. I remember playing this a lot with Jedi. Another... Dude, another rescue, dude. Yeah, these guys are taking quite a bit of a beating. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at this. Griffin is going to be so good versus these Blade Masters, right? Might want to consider getting more. No? I feel like we're just outclassing these guys, like, so well. Mortars could be strong, too, just for that siege damage. This guy's playing really well. I mean, honestly. I could probably just go for another Heavy Gunner. Have that consistent pierce damage. I might consider going for either a chapel. Oh, we have, wait, we have literally two crystals, so I could go for two ultimates. So you have two ultimate structures, which I forgot to talk about. Which are kind of like legendary buildings, which you can get. Let's go for chapel, which levels up into a, a legendary building at some point. You'll see, I could get the uh, paladin, and then it goes up to art this. Should we put up a GG? Too many units here. No more rescues. Oh, maybe they, did I see that too early? Yeah, I think we win here. There's no way. Look at this. All of these units are buffed up. 66 extra percent damage. Not damage, attack speed, which is huge. And they can't repair fast enough. So even this guy went for two blast taps. But that's 300 gold less uh, into, you know, into defenses, which is bad. They could have went for towers, but I don't think it's it's, it's not going to be enough. Here we go. One easy when he had two Gallahorns. It's good to have two. Uh, reason being is you want to have more AoE. So I feel like it was like 500 AoE or something. And then those two horns pretty much catch everything. So pretty much the buff is applied to every to all the units, which is good. Very good, very good. So uh, choose Elemental Force. You can, we can actually pick. Oh, it's Builder Ban, I see. So we're banning, we each banning a few races. Okay, that makes sense. So we... Band ultimate plus I don't know that what was the other one. Uh, Huntress Hall, Dread, Assassin, Spirit. I think Spirit is pretty strong. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna go for Fairy. Let me go for Air. This guy's pretty good. I like this guy. 
for a fairy, I usually never go for... I feel like it's a really good start because people don't expect necessarily to go air. The only problem is light armor. So if they go for archers, I mean, it's really bad for us. So fairies obviously have healing, self-healing ability and is flying. Oh, I remember the uh, water elemental being pretty good. Um, what is strong about this race anyways? Assassin could be good versus, you know, any sort of backline units, like a lot of archers. Um, I remember this one being decent. Um, I probably would just want to mass. What do I want to mass? Starfall, dude. Starfall is so strong. Moonshine, get some druids. Oh, this is the bear, right? Get get some bears, get some huntresses for DPS, get the assassin, also get this in future. Let's see. Okay, so we did match the air, which is good. The thing is, we do a significant less amount of damage to this, but I will be doing... Oh, wait. I thought the bear was heavy armor, but apparently isn't. Dude, it's literally two-shotting this. Oh, my God. Okay, so now we're getting wrecked. We're literally getting wrecked. So my fairy dragon has mana burn? Okay, so I guess I win, even though the armor types doesn't say so. Because it should be taking... Yeah, no, 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 actually... Oh, wait a second. I thought magic would take bonus damage from... Uh, to light, or it would do bonus damage. Apparently it does 100%. So, oh, this is good. I'm, I'm just going to be winning here. <laughs> and plus this unit heals, which is good. So I'll be winning, hopefully. Dubs all around, baby. Dubs all, all around. But this golden fountain is a problem. Even though he levels it up, this bear will do so much more damage because of normal. Wait! That's invulnerable while it sleeps. Nice. But yeah, but nothing will kill my fairies, right? So these are going to be stacking, which is going to be super good. I kind of want to go for a second one. I'm not going to lie. Am I gr greedy enough to go for a second one? I mean, they have no answer to this, right? But the thing is, I make myself so vulnerable to archers and all that stuff. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. How do we match the bears? How do we match the bears? Is it normal damage we need at some point for the upgraded version? I really can't tell. I know this race is really strong. The elemental builder is really freaking strong. 80 freaking damage. Jesus. That's the upgraded Void Drake, I think. I'm just curious to see whenever he upgrades the bear, what type of armor. If I remember correctly, it's, it's medium, but don't quote me on it. Glaive or Definitely do not want to go for Glaives. Huntress. I mean, I, I kind of like Huntresses. Moon Druid. This guy went for a tower? Wow, he went for a tower. Sorry, I have to take, uh, turn off the light there. Let's not forget uh, that I need to edit that out, hopefully. <laughs> I will, I will, because I need to edit this video for Saturday, hopefully. By the way, hope you guys are doing well. Um, You know guys have watched so far and are excited about the weekend write something in the comments i don't know right uh just to find is if is very fun you guys watch so far <laughs> yeah sorry guys honestly i'm going to be trying to upload as many videos as i can um but it's very difficult for me to just get some uploads um out there just simply because i'm really focused on what i have going on which i will be hopefully showcasing at some point i feel like it would be so much fun for me to just do like a vlog channel with what I'm really doing in real life. I feel like would be, I, I would love to do that. So I don't know if I'm able to share it at some point And if I find the time to record it, it's another, it's another story, but I'll try my best again. I feel like they don't have a good answer to, to fairies. No, I should probably just keep going for it with it. And these guys are struggling quite a bit, man. I don't know what they're doing. Is that a second Ancient Protector? No way, right? I kind of want to go for Amazon's Hall, dude. Am I am I that greedy? That's a legendary, by the way. Ancient of Grove, Ancient of Battle. Those are a lot of extra units, but I remember Greater... Yeah, look at this. Greater Elemental, elemental of Water does so much. It hits air too. So, Dryads... Bears, Void Walkers. Hmm. Obelisk of Elements. That's a really strong. 
But this guy is really freaking aggressive. I'm not going to lie. My teammates. Big shout out to my teammate, man. He's playing really well. Dude, just this greater element. Dude. <laughs> I don't know if we're playing really good or just simply outclassing them. I really can't tell, honestly, at this point. I really, really cannot tell. I mean, once I get this Amazon's hull, I'm going to have a massive power spike. And they're not pushing through, man. <laughs> they're literally not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting for the next spawn and then I'll cancel it. So cancel, get the Amazon's hull. So it seems like we have, ability, we have the ability to go for two legendaries. Look at this. Amazon, Pierce. Crazy amount of Pierce. Uh, armor is light, hit point 900, but it is immune to spells, legendary spell resistance, and multi shots. Yeah, I mean, I went for Keeper of the Grove to match my Amazon, I guess. I'm excited to see how this one, like, whatever it spawns, it's, that's gonna be so sick. And they, they, they have two rescues, right? So they could still come back to this game, but we're playing really well. So, this is the, the another thing I really wanna go for at some point. Around a random friendly unit that attack plus unit gains health, mana, and armor for six seconds. But also, the, I think this is the best one. Friendly spell damage reduction and 40% chance to... Wait, reduced incoming damage. Okay. I kind of like these. These are kind of like, uh, you know, buffs that you would apply to your units. for dominating these guys. Like, even with a tower. That's the reason why it's difficult to... Like, whenever you build a tower, it's kind of rough. Because it forces you to be defensive. And we're literally going only on the offense. Kind of want to go rush Starfall. Imagine I go straight Starfall. I mean, at this point, I could go Glaive forward just to keep pressuring these guys, right? Force them to rescue. Here comes the Amazon. Look at that. Look at that damage, dude. Look at that damage. What is, gonna, what is it going to be? What's going to be their response? I could literally go for two Amazons. Imagine how OP that would be. But I kind of want to get Starfall at the same time. Yeah, just clearly outclassed at this point. It's hard for them to do anything, honestly. Let's build stuff. Just because we can. We just got, we're just pressuring these guys so much. So we got the uh, Sage Druid doing Chaos Damage, Mass Entangle, which could be a lot of CC. Can't complain. Ancient Bear, still unarmored, so I guess it takes bonus damage to pretty much normal, pierce, and magic. Interesting. And also 10% from hero, which is good to know. Amazon seems to be disabled, which I guess is huge versus like a, a legendary unit like that. I wonder if he's going to go for the Keeper of the Grove upgrade. Ooh, Void Keeper. So that's an upgrade too. Amazon's just being so strong, man. Did it get healed? I feel like it got healed. I mean, just if this thing stays alive in the back doing multi-shot, I mean, it's tough, dude. It's tough for them for sure. What news? This thing has 15 armor? Yeah, I would assume it's, com it's coming from this. Obelisk of Elements, which like gives a random buff to any units. So yeah, look at this, plus 15. This is literally the most broken hero <laughs> or unit at the moment. Oh, here comes the Sage Druid, the Mass Entangles. I mean, two Amazons. How are you going to be handling this? What's your response, guys? It's literally an absolute stop at this point. Yeah, I mean, this is this this is what sucks about like recording videos is like either you get stops or just bad games, and sometimes it's hard for me to get recordings because I'm I'm spending so much time just trying to record these games for you guys, but it's tough to get good um, recordings, which I really wish I could. But sometimes that's this is the reality, guys. It's just like sometimes it's literally so one-sided and there's not much I could do. <laughs> that's a little bit toxic. Uh, okay, dude. Let's go for an assassin. Try that. Get broken races. Then BM, congrats. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this race is OP, but it is pretty strong for sure.
Yeah, pretty strong. Yeah, for sure. I feel strong. Look at this, man. I mean, I could literally... I, I'm going to wait for Starfall, honestly. Finally, Corrupted Annihilator. It took you guys a bit. Yeah, this is really, this is a legendary. It's super good. It tanks quite well. Okay, so they were. I mean, we got to fight, I guess. Go more air. I could go more air. That's a good point. Let's see if I can sync these together. What can we sync with, by the way? Is there anything we could sync with? Usually you want to sync with the unit. The thing that... Oh, okay. With with this one, 52 seconds. I'm going to get a few more fairies. Usually it's pretty good. Um, I might consider going for Starfall. Yeah, going Starfall. I feel like a second Amazon could work too, but once we push back here, there's not much these guys can do. Imagine having two Amazons. Dude, that would be so good. I'd be such a simp. Should I do it? Guys, you want you guys want to see this, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Let's go Starfall. I feel like it's just a better... Uh... Let's go for Starfall. So we get a Starfall. Minor Starfall every 33 seconds. Should wait. Honestly, look at this mess and tangle. It's so powerful versus very uh, high tier creeps like these. Assassin is obviously going to be very good versus these uh, Keeper of the Groves. Look at this. Starfall happening. Not so bad. Not so bad, right? Oh, dude, that legendary is so good. Hopefully, we can even survive without using a rescue, but I don't know, honestly, if we can. Keeper of the Grove. Heavy armor. We need some magic damage, man. Wait, maybe air? <gasps> Not in Kubus, dude. Oh, no. Might be in trouble, actually. Yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. We might have to rescue again. Oh, shoot. Do they win here? No, right? Uh-oh. Um, he, this guy might have spoken too soon, I think. Yikes, I'm gonna have to rescue again. Which is really unfortunate. Oh my god, no way that just happened. My my dude was here. Oh dude, I can't believe that just happened. Job done. No way, I just did, I just literally trolled the game. We could have won that. Oh my god, I'm actually stupid. Wow. I can't believe that just happened. Ultimate Builder, that's a pretty powerful race. Yikes. Dude, my Builder was here. And I was casting it, as you saw. But he was here. What the hell was he doing here? What happened? I need to go watch that back. Oh my god, that's such an unfortunate sna Dude, I can't believe that just happened. I, I honestly didn't think about blinking. I should have just blinked. What the hell was my builder doing there? 
Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm literally so sorry. I can't believe I just did that. Yikes. Okay. All right. Let's focus up. Okay. That happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay. Oh, yikes. I can't believe I just... Guys, I'm not going to... Okay. The truth is, I want a, I want a good game, right? I want a good game. I want a best out of three. Not a, a, a freaking stomp, right? I'm here for content. <laughs> Kappa, Kappa. I actually did that. That was an honest mistake. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Dude, I can't believe I did that mistake, but you know, it was an honest mistake. So spiders are not the best here. But at least his crusader is gonna be so it's gonna be good, so good tanking pretty much everything with that blessing. Let's get that spider nest upgraded, you can get it to tier uh tier up again. It's gonna be a lot of freaking spiders. Um I like this race actually. I consider getting some dragon dragons. Drives are pretty good. Ancient guardian. Mountain giants, pretty strong. For a ball, it's just for healing. I like spiders just because they're uh, they're very consistent. Like early on, they're bad, but once you upgrade them, you'll see they they become very powerful. Especially whenever they get uh, they become brood mutters. But yeah, we're pretty much dominating at this point again. Yeah, this time, uh, no mercy this time, guys. No mercy. We gotta win. We gotta win. Oh my god! Imagine if we lose this while this guy trash talked. Oh, that would have that would be kind of embarrassing. Not gonna lie. No blast staff. Usually that's their strategy. Typical blast staff. Not even surprised. I mean, Heavy Gunner is good if he has, you know, backline to defend. Oh, wow. Wait. Look what your UB, your dude got. Can't you just build that from the beginning with the, uh, I think it's 265. So I'm pretty sure you can just build that from the beginning. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the ultimate builder is. I think it just builds like random units or random buildings from all races. I would assume that's what it is. But yeah, we're just wrecking at this point. These guys are complaining a lot, eh? Oh, here comes the Naga Royal Guard, which I would assume is the upgraded version. That's quite a beat. That's quite a beat, to say the least. And now we should be able to get Brood Mutters. I don't know if it's the right call versus Heavy Gunners. Do Heavy Gunners hit air? Look at this, Paladin. Yeah, yeah, good luck. <laughs> okay, I'll go for it. I'll go air then. Going for our Drakes. Yeah, Drakes are gonna be so good here. They do chaos damage, right? Yep, and heavy armor. So red's units are not gonna be able to hit me or blues. <laughs> I should have probably not even went for Broodmer and just literally go for Emerald Dragon. The reason why I went for this is I think they have web. Yeah, they do have web, so I'm going to be able to immobilize whatever air they have. And just uh, make air for myself. So Paladin plus Brood Matters. Look at this, man. Plus we have Devotion Aura, which is super good. And these uh, Giant Spiders do split, so just a lot more, uh, more to handle, basically. Even though it's pretty much Pierce. I'm gonna get some drakes. I mean, any sort of magic damage would be good here. I think air is probably the best play. Look at these. Look at these, man. Rudemutter is so freaking strong. Hopefully it works out, but you never know. It's a lot to handle, as you guys see. No air. He has a marksman. Go bear. I mean, why though? I feel like air is definitely the play. Under attack. Job done. 
this is good because their units right now can't hit. Yeah, this is literally the best option. I don't understand why this guy is like advocating against it. Like my air is going to be so good. I'm going to sink all my units to these spiders. Essentially, you want to sink the units to the highest, highest one. And hopefully the Drake's uh, Drake Duke does quite a bit of damage here. A lot of freaking Naga Royal Guards, so any sort of magic would be good here. Because we're essentially going to do 75% extra damage. That's two of them. You went for two? This guy, unbelievable. Okay, here we go. Emerald Drakes, two Paladins. He went for two churches? Look at my Broodmutters and Drakes coming in. 55 to 75 damage. That's so much. Uh, I mean, we're going to wreck these guys. We're literally going to push so hard back. Um, Okay, I go bear. Fine. We'll follow whatever this guy. Yeah, but bear is good because of the uh, this one. It upgrades into a, an ancient bear. And it has um, bash, cleave, critical strike. Hibernation and Feral Rage. Does it have another upgrade? I would assume it does. Let's check. No, it's only one upgrade. Interesting. I thought it would have Roar or something, you know? Oh, no. Did they have the the uh, the thing that, like, catches or just, like, control mind controls one of our units? I would assume they do. So we got the bear. Ancient bear, which is nice. Oh no, they just gotta have a paladin or own, which just makes sense. This guy in his freaking blast tap, but we have so many units. This is why Emer Emerald's Dragons, like, this was definitely the right call. I knew I did the right call, guys. Why would I listen to the Baba Yaga, right? No, no point. I know what I'm talking about. That's gonna be a big rescue for us. The thing is, these guys are pretty much massing the same units, so it's easy to counter, right? Yeah, he went for a sniper. I would assume he's going to turn this sniper into a marksman. Which is obviously going to, like, annihilate my, uh... Yeah, marksman and catman. Here we go. That's completely fine. We force him to spend gold on things that it's not worth it. You know what I mean? So it's really smart. Ancient Protector. What's my ultimate anyways? I completely forgot. Oh, I could go for Mountain Giants. Dude, I'm gonna go for one more bear. I'm gonna go for Mountain Giants, dude. Oh, dude, Red Generator. That's so good. Dude, bears are so overpowered. Look at this. Yeah, the bears are good. I'm not going to lie. Bears are good, but mountain giants are even better. They're going to be tanking so hard. Okay, here we go. These guys are going for towers. Full on defense, eh? But we're going to be uh, brushing them as much as we can. Uh, turn an enemy into ethereal. Could be good. Ancient of a gill. Some of the tornado. I like tornadoes for sure. Doing damage in a specific AoE. And doing damage to buildings too, that could be good versus the tower, for example. It's just like constant pressure, right? We have so many units that are spawned. Do they have another rescue? I think they have one more. If I remember correctly. This guy's going for royal ground, spawning grounds for some reason, just massing those. I'm just going to go magic damage and that's... How is he going to handle that? Literally going to go for it right away. Fives. It's pretty much like uh, sync everything with the spider hatchery. Mountain giant. Look at that. Siege damage going to be super good versus that watchtower. Plus, it's going to be super resistant because of the fortified armor, um, spell resistance, and all that cool stuff. And uh, we're going to have some furball treatments just like. Oh, Enigma? What the hell is this? 
by Visioneer. Only for 100 gold? Extra regeneration. This thing has extra regeneration. What is this? Enigma. Kind of curious. I don't want to build it. it. Has chaos damage. I'm not going to complain. Um, Ancient protector. What is this one? Let's see what this ultimate. I kind of need to use my uh, my lumber. Summons a forest spirit, which attacks enemy units with 50% chance to stun. Okay. Yeah, this is the wisp thing. Okay. I want to like just pretty much spawn everything just to see. Fucking red generators, that's so good. I might go. For, I might build a few ancient winds. Just for the, those tornadoes are going to be super important in my opinion. A few cyclones, right? Right. A few cyclones going in. Is there anything else to influence the battle? I don't think so. Black bear. I kind of want to see all my buildings, what they do, but I think probably the... Let's see, I want to see what this Visioneer does. Or is it? Those mountain giants just tanking pretty much everything. I kind of want to go for more, dude. MGs are just so good. Plus mana shield? Oh, it's the energy shield from the... Uh, this. Oh, dude, he's getting so many good... <laughs> so many random... Okay, so yeah, this, this race essentially gets a lot of towers from... Or not towers or structures from multiple uh, races, which is super good. Yeah, it makes this race very difficult to handle, as you guys can see. I'm just going to go for this, honestly. Let's go for the ultimate while before the game finishes. We demand additional lumber. Oh, we need lumber. Yikes. I'm going to build you. I want to see what the Dryad does. And last rescue has been used. Very good, very good. Oh, it's Keeper of the Grove. Okay, I remember. Yeah, Keeper's pretty good. Oh, he went for the Holy Warrior, which is another legendary, I'm pretty sure. Uh, at this point, we go for Ancient of Wonders. I don't think two Keeper of the Groves is going to be useful because I don't think their auras stack. 40 seconds uh, cooldown for this. Here we go. Let's build that legendary building over there. Oh, Gallahorn. So now they're going to do... They're going to have a pretty massive push here. But the thing is, we do have Call of the Nature, which you're, you'll see those wisps pretty much spawning from the north side of the uh, the map. North and, and south, I'm pretty sure. It's going to be a tough wave to push back, honestly, without rescue. Okay, Ancient Keeper. Nature stuff, touch, spell resistance, abolish magic, and summon trance, which is going to be obviously very good. Here comes the marksman, which it's uh, among the best. Look at this, these wisps. You see the damage? It's going to be fine. Like they, sum they summon randomly like this, so they do quite a bit of damage. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to take that. I like it. Yeah, we need some... Okay, this is the Visioneer. I see. Quite a bit of damage, but I don't know. Get the Tree of Eternity. I'll do some first because we need some... Um, we need to pretty much kill this front line, which is a problem at the moment. So hopefully he uses the uh, rescue and I don't F it up this time. Here comes the Wisps. Can I move these? No, I cannot move these, actually. I could probably use some of the... Oh, drum and bass. I forgot about these items, which are really good. I don't know if we do want to get drums. All right. Drum... Or, uh, for shamans, it is. We're getting pushed back. That's crazy that we're getting pushed back. Do we? Are we going to lose this? There's no way we're losing this, right? Yep. 
Yeah, we're going to be fine here, I'm pretty sure. Get these two leveled up, hopefully. Very good. We got some nice shamans. Matter burn and heal. It's going to be quite helpful. Dragon turtle with siege damage in the back plus mortars, which are going to be obviously very good. Get a little bit more mountain giants. I have enough magic damage, I'm pretty sure, just to thin out the uh, this wave. I definitely do want to keep rescue in case, but it's pretty close, dude. Yeah, this game turned out to be uh, decent. I wasn't expecting this game to go that long. More mountain giants coming in just to soak up the damage. That's what we need at this point. Soak up the damage. We have enough magic damage with the um, Elder Fur Blogs, which are going to be really good for just regeneration. And we just need to... We just need things to soak up the damage. Even though they're going for a lot of pierce, these wisps are going to be so good. Look at that. Look at that damage. That's huge. That Cyclone doing quite a bit of damage too. Oh, they're using... Scroll of Stone. Did he use it? Yeah, he did use scroll. I see. So you could use the scroll to just influence the damage of the, uh, the game too, if you want. But I feel like we're slowly but surely pushing through here, which is good. Go for two Ancient of Winds. It's going to be very good. Just create those cyclones as much as we want. We can. Look at this. It does a decent amount of damage, as you can see, right? We got the Wisps pretty much with plus the Cyclones just helping us out quite a bit with DPS. Now it's just all about the damage, right? Uh, we could go for more... more Mountain Giants, honestly. Get that Siege going. They're pushing back? No way they are. Wow, that's insane. That they're pushing back somehow. That is crazy. Oh, man, oh, man. How are they pushing back? I'm gonna get drums. Too Oh, too late now. We got a big spawn here. Got bonus damp. Oh my god, it's gonna be close. Are they are we actually dead here? There's no way, right? He got the orb hitting the back line for well played. Yeah, I guess we lose. the game. Oh, GG well played, dude. What happened this game? What happened? I can't believe we lost that. It's fine. I'm still uploading. I don't care. Not you, Yellow. You were good. Thanks, dude. Feel better now. Oh, you left. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a fun game. If you guys want to see more of this, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit less editing and just more uploads. Um, just casual uploads for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, you know, it's not going to be the best quality that I would, uh, I would like. Not up to par or up to my standards, I guess, for regular uploads. But I'll try to get a few games in so you guys are relatively entertained in these, uh, in these times. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.